So what happens when a family-owned Midwestern company deeply rooted in its core values spends over 45 years in the pursuit of excellence? Well, something like that happens. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the Volkortsen Black Mamba. Yes. You are going to want to see this. Hey, welcome back to the Walter Lover channel, everyone. A place where we discuss general gun and shooting topics. We do all make and model gun reviews, gear reviews, gadget reviews, and talk about competitive shooting. Thank you, as always, for checking out this video. We appreciate that. Tonight, I've got this. The Volkortsen Black Mamba. Oh, look at that thing. Yes, indeed. As always, safety first. You see there's no mag in the gun. Chamber is empty. Bolt back. I've got two magazines here. There's one. There's two. No ammunition. We are fully safe. Here we go. There you have it. Bolt quartz and black mamba. 22 long rifle, semi-automatic handgun. Oh, boy. So let's get into this thing. I think it's safe to say that most of us, if not all of us, started our journey into the shooting world with a rimfire gun or somewhere around the rimfire world, probably a 22. Whether it was shooting cans in the backyard, doing some planking with family, maybe learning how to hunt, maybe a youth camp. There's a lot of reasons, a lot of places where we may have started our journey in rimfire. And then as the years go on, I can only speak for myself, we kind of lose track of that, some of us, and, and we move on to other things or bigger and badder things and some cooler guns and bigger, whatever. And it was only recently for me, as I got into the competitive shooting world, that it reinvigorated my passion around rimfire guns. Enter Volkortsen. Now, the Volkortsen name. Those of you that have been around any competitive shooting, I'm certain that you know the Volkortsen name and you know it's associated with that name. You're talking about quality, precision, speed, accuracy, and quite frankly, excellence in general. Those of you that haven't been around competitive shooting may not know the Volkortsen name. Now, I'm not gonna give you the whole history because I don't think I can do it justice, folks, but I'll give you a brief overview. Bull Courtson started in 1974 by a man in his basement, tinkering on his own guns and his, and his friend's guns, making them perform better, refinishing, et cetera, et cetera. Fast forward, uh, again, family-owned business, kept family involved. In 1991, they made the decision to focus exclusively on rimfire, and they have done it exceptionally well, so that's full course. I'll tell you towards the end of this video where you can get some more information as well. Tonight, we're talking about this full course, which is an amazing, absolutely amazing firearm. So first thing we're going to do is give you a quick up close look like we always do. Uh, look at some of the features of this thing. We'll come back. We'll talk about how it shoots, who it's for, what it costs, and et cetera, et cetera. So stand by. This is awesome. You're going to want to check it out. I'll be right back. All right. Here we have it. Old Quartzen Black Mamba. How about that beauty? Something else. All right, as always, safety. There's no mag in this firearm. We are clear. And that magazine is empty. So we are safe. There you have it, folks. What a beautiful machine. Okay. So the Black Mamba is built on the Mark IV 2245 Ruger frame. This is polymer. So although this gun looks like it's ridiculously heavy, it is not. It is very well balanced. Feels very good in the hand. Uh, spectacular. All right. Magazines. You get two of these with this firearm. This is the standard Mark IV Ruger mag. However, Volkortsen has upgraded this magazine with their base plates. And that magazine button there, if you look it's got a little more texture, easier to use than the factory mags. The other cool thing, and we're going to talk about it, is th these aren't just visual enhancements on this magazine. They have improved the way that these magazines function in the Mark IVs, which is pretty cool. Uh, on this model, we have got the Hogue rubberized grips. Great grip. Um, stands up well if you're outside all day and you're sweating and shooting some competitions. Um, that grip is absolutely terrific. Volkortsen mag release. Again, we're going to talk about that in a bit because there is more than meets the eye on that mag release. There's our bolt lock. And of course, safety here, which is an ambi safety. If you look on both sides, though, they do give you 
uh, a spacer if you want to eliminate that lever on that side of the firearm. The upper, the Volkortsen upper, this is where the magic, well, that's where some of the magic happens. On this upper, this is the six inch model. We've got a single port compensator. You've got a full rail, top and bottom. Talk about that in a second. This is a fiber optic model. So we've got a fiber optic front sight and a rear fully adjustable blacked out Volkortsen sight in the rear. Excellent. The bolt, look at that thing. I mean, this is, you can tell by looking at it that you've got a quality product and it feels unbelievable, unbelievable. So uh, yeah, there we go. The trigger, now, we know we don't like to uh, dry fire these rimfire guns a whole lot. I'm gonna give you one trigger pull so you can get an idea of how spectacular this trigger is. You ready? I'm only doing it once. That is all the pre-travel, and there you go. I'll let that sink in for a second. How about that? We'll talk about all those things a little bit more. Let me show you what comes in the box. There is the case for this thing. As we open this thing up, chamber flag. We like those on our rim fires. Patch, sticker like stickers. That's cool. Here is the owner's packet. Certificate of authenticity, which by the way, I am 99.9% .9 sure that is actually hand signed. I'm going to find out for sure, but I think so. Standard Ruger Mark IV instruction manual, since that is the chassis this thing originates with. Some other additional information about owning this Magical Wolkortzen firearm. There's our second mag. I talked about those a little bit. We'll talk some more. That is the tool for the single port compensator that is on that upper. Even that feels like a quality product. Excellent. And there is the uh, spacer if you want to eliminate the ejection side safety lever. There you have it. That's what comes with this absolutely amazing firearm. Low quartz and black mamba. <laughs> this is pretty sweet, right? Uh, come on, man. Uh, you, when you look at that, you have to say, wow, there's something special happening there. And it's absolutely correct. Next question, of course, how does this thing shoot? Well, folks, uh, it's been really difficult to find the words to explain the impact that this firearm has had. As I show you some video from the range, and I'm also going to show you some video from a match, I've got to tell you that when you look at this firearm, I think you can tell just from looking at it that something pretty special is going on here. And then once you get this thing in your hands, you know for a fact that you're about to have a whole lot of fun. And that's exactly what you get, what I've gotten with the Volkorts and Black Mamba. Uh, this thing is accurate it's fast this gun will perform at a pace that i will never be able to perform at now i'm going to keep trying to get better but um i gotta tell you i will never be able to outperform this firearm it is phenomenal it's been pretty interesting because i've let a lot of folks uh shoot this gun both experienced gun folks some new folks old young male female anyone that's been around the range uh, has seen me with this gun, has been really curious, right? They see it, they hey, man, what is that? Can you, can you tell me about that? Well, no, but I'll let you shoot it, and then I'll tell you about it. So a lot of folks have, have had their hands on this gun, and what's fascinating and amazing to watch, when I see every single one of them pick up this gun, you can see that curiosity in their eyes. You can see the interest grow. You can see the, the excitement as they get closer and closer to pulling the trigger, <laughs> and then I'm going to tell you, as soon as somebody pulls the trigger, every reaction's been the same. This huge smile followed by a wow. Yes, because the trigger is phenomenal. I showed you in the up close. I'm not going to do much drop fire because we don't do that on these things. But uh, the trigger is absolutely terrific. Now, Volkortsen claims a 2.2 pound pull, I believe. But I, I don't know. It really doesn't matter because it's not really about the weight. It's the... The way this trigger is designed, where it's placed, 
There are a couple of adjustments. I'll talk about that in a second. And it just feels amazing. Now, the adjustments are you can adjust uh, pre-travel and over-travel with a couple of set screws on this trigger. You can't adjust the pull, but you don't want to. I promise. The trigger uh, the trigger is pretty spectacular, so I can't imagine that anybody would want to change anything uh, about the trigger on this gun. It is absolutely terrific. Uh, a couple other things I'm going to tell you about this gun. So, look, I've got the 6-inch model here. Uh, with fiber optic front sight and a rear target, a fully adjustable Volkortz and target sight, which is essentially a blacked out serrated uh, rear. And I'll show you an up close look at that. Uh, these firearms are available in a different size. They're also available in a four and a half. Uh, they, they all come, the Black Mambas all come with a threaded barrel. This one has the single port compensator, as you can see. Uh, they do a very terrific job of fitting that thing to the upper to make it look integrated. Uh, they give you a tool to take the compensator off for cleaning and maintenance, which is pretty awesome. Let's talk about the mags. In the up-close look at this thing, I mentioned more than meets the eye. So with the Volkortsen mag release that they change, right, it just looks like maybe it's an extended mag release. But when you combine that with these base plates on the magazine, what happens is it allows the mag to sit higher in the frame of the firearm. As you can see, it's super easy to put that mag in, which isn't always the case on rimfire guns. And the combo of that base plate and mag release to allow the mag to sit higher in the frame of the gun, which minimizes the opportunities for misfeeds. And as we all know, with rimfire guns, they can be finicky and problematic. And with this mag setup and that mag release, they have all but eliminated that. And I will tell you that this firearm at this point already has a couple thousand rounds through it. That's right. Between a match that I shot and all the folks that I've let try this thing out, she's got a lot of rounds through her already. And we have not had one single failure to feed. And that is saying something on a ring fire gun. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, so that's the mags. Now... <clears throat> What what these magazines are, essentially, it's a body of a 2245 mag uh, from Ruger. They change the base plates. They also put, uh, they upgrade the magazine button, follower button on there, which is pretty cool and allows you to get a grip on it. The standard Ruger 2245 mags, which is what this is, they will work in this firearm. As you can see, they sit flush in there. Almost, you have to kind of push it up in there. Um because it really works much better with these. But look, I, I got these because when I got the firearm, I immediately had a match coming up and I wanted to shoot this gun at the match. So I was forced to use the 2245 mags. They do sell magazines like this uh, directly, which is pretty cool. You can also buy the base plates and magazine uh, buttons to Stand improve by. your existing Ruger mags, which is pretty sweet. Who is this gun for? Obviously, well, if, for anyone that likes guns, man, um, I'm just kidding. But all kidding aside, I think if you're any kind of firearm enthusiast that has a, a love or passion uh, for rimfire guns, you're absolutely going to love these Volkorts and firearms. I have zero question about that. Obviously, if you're a competitor, I, I don't, man, I don't, I don't know why anybody would use anything else, I guess, at this point. I I've shot a lot of 22s, folks, and I just don't, I've, I haven't had a similar experience. It's it's a much different experience for sure. So I really believe that anybody that really loves firearms and anybody that loves rimfire guns is going to be more than happy with a Volkortsen firearm and specifically the Black Mamba. Price. So it's this is a premium product, and I'm not scared to talk about the price because I think it's worth every penny. MSRP, uh, according to Volkortsen, is right around $1,500 on this particular model. There are different sight models. Um, you don't necessarily need the fiber, I guess, if you're going to put an optic on there. Again, there's the four and a half version. You can check it out. There's tons of different versions. Uh, and, and they do some build-to-order stuff, some custom orders. Again, I'm not an expert in Volkortsen. I'm just giving you kind of a foundation. But yeah, MSRP right around $1,500. I've seen them right around 1350-ish. So that's the range you're looking at. Do I think it's worth the money? I think you can probably figure that out already from 
uh, the way that I talk about this gun, but absolutely, I have absolutely fallen in love. I, I haven't, since I've got this firearm, I haven't not taken it with me to the range, to matches, to anywhere I go to shoot. This gun comes with me because not only do I want to enjoy it, but I want to let other people really get a feel for what a fantastic premium rimfire gun feels like. So that's what we've got here. Now, if you want to learn more about Volkorten and some other cool stuff, I got to plug something for them. And again, I'm not affiliated or anything, folks, but Volkorten has a podcast called No Excuse to Miss. Before this, before I actually got this gun, I have had my hands on some Volkortsons at some matches. People have let me, let me touch them and I hadn't shot one before this. I just was able to get my hands on them. But then I found the podcast, No Excuse to Miss podcast with Scott Volkortsen. And uh, I learned a lot about the company. Uh, they do fire, not just firearm related content, but uh, they have physical trainers on there. Uh, people from other parts of the industry. It, it's pretty remarkable uh, what they do on their podcast. I'm a huge fan and there's some great ones uh, that give you the history of the company. And after listening to those, having my hands on this, the combination kind of made me fall in love and take the chance without ever shooting one of investing in one of these Volkorts and firearms. And I have not looked back since. I am more than happy. So in the future on this channel, if you have subscribed to the channel, there's a high probability you're going to see more Volkorts. And I have some missions and some, some goals in the competition world around rimfire. There's four, five, six different things I'd like to do in the rimfire world, different divisions, and I kind of feel like there's a Volkorts in for each one of them. So uh, it's going to take time, but I hope to, uh, to bring you some more of these things in the future because I am a fan. Big time. So yeah, there you have it. So that's all I have for you, folks. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please hit us some hit us up with some comments. Hit the like button, uh, and if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. We are growing, and it's awesome. And I really appreciate the support. This is a lot of fun, having a good time. If you didn't enjoy this video, I apologize. Let me know why. Maybe we can make it better. So with that, uh, that's really all I have for you. But I want to leave you with a final thought. We all love this gun thing. We some of us think we're okay at shooting, and we're pretty good at shooting, or whatever. But I encourage everybody go out there. Teach somebody else. Get some more training for yourself. Let's grow our community. Let's have some fun in this thing that we love. And yeah, let's do that together. Absolutely. So I will see everybody real soon. See you.